now it's time for a story and today's story is called Pirates in Pyjamas. Do you wear pyjamas when it's time to say good night? Do they have a skull and crossbones? Are they stripy, black and white? No. When pirates choose pyjamas, they're not always what you'd think. Some are purple, some are orange, some are yellow, green and pink. There are knitted ones with pom-poms, ones with spots and frilly sleeves. Some are fluffy all-in-onesies and some finish at the knees. If you're aboard the leaky parrot just before you go to bed, Captain Grotbeard's wearing armbands and a snorkel on his head. He dives into the bathtub, bubbles shoot up in the air. His crew are making shark fins with the shampoo in their hair. Grab your towels, the captain cries, and dry behind your knees. The last one in pyjamas smells of stinky, mouldy cheese. Rotten Roger's Jim Jam Top has cherry, cherry buns and lollies. Sneaky Pete has dancing cats and Hairy Hanks has brollies. Captain Grogbeard's onesie must have shrunk a size or two. He can't do up the buttons and his tummy's poking through. Pirates throw pyjama parties nearly every single night. They parade their jazzy gym, gym jams and have a pirate pillow fight. Wallop, whack, white feathers fly and tickle everywhere. Hank laughs so loud his gym jams slip and leave his bottom bare. Dressed for bed, they drink their milk with curly, whirly straws. Then tucked up tight, they rock the ship with peaceful pirate snores. So if you want to be a pirate, you don't need a patch or a sword. You just need your best pyjamas and a bed to climb aboard. The end. Our story has finished.